Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now uh, I've been inspired by uh, some of the uh, these external outdoor nodes people are putting up for Mesh Tastic, and I thought I'd have a, a quick look at doing something possibly with a housing that comes ready built with a solar panel and a battery all ready to go, cutting out a lot of the work. Because um, some of the nodes and some of the things I've seen built seem big old boxes and a lot of gear to go through for a tiny little thing like this, really. So I I come up with an idea and it's one of these. Now you'll have probably seen these. These are solar powered lights and these are, I have um, some good experience with these. I've moved into a new property um, about four years ago and I bought, a, I bought six of these and they're all still working and have never put a foot wrong. So, and the idea, my idea behind this was you've got uh, a solar panel already built into the top of these units. I wouldn't be using the light side of it, obviously. And you've got a battery. Let me just zoom out a little bit. You've got a battery, okay, not a huge battery in this, but there seems to me to be plenty of room inside there to perhaps fit some extra cells. And my idea was, if we can get that little guy in there, and then obviously we can incorporate that as well, you've got, um, you know, you've got yourselves a, a little node there, haven't you? On the side there, stick it up on the wall somewhere, and it doesn't look too out of place, apart from the antenna on the side, you know, it doesn't look like you've got uh, a radio transmitter or transceiver on the wall. So anyway, let's take the back off and uh, we'll have a little look inside this and see if we can, what we can fit in and what we can't. Back just lifts off there, exposing pretty much what I thought would be in here, which is an 18650 battery there, uh, nestled in the little block and uh, the solar panel. And there we have our little control circuit for the light in there. So, I mean, if you, in terms of space, in terms of a housing, You've kind of got everything you need, haven't you? So there's there's plenty of room uh, to mount the um, the node, and there looks to me to be plenty of room to mount more batteries because you are definitely going to need at least two of these, maybe three 18650s in parallel, I would think, to actually power this, particularly in our sort of dim, dark winters we get here in the UK. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the light because we don't want that coming on so there we go because that's not required we don't need the light this is purely and simply for supply all right we've got the unit apart i've disconnected the battery just cut the wires i may well put a, a separate switch on this all right okay the board's removed and uh, i've had a quick look through it i decided not to reverse engineer it because i still don't know what the chip is uh, exactly so what i'm going to do is just see exactly how this works because we only need to tap off the the power we're only looking for the power that's all we're looking for so what i've done i've removed the solar panel connected it up to the meter and just under the bench light it's producing 3.6 volts i mean there won't be a great deal of current behind that obviously but um we can kind of see what we're dealing with in terms of voltage to be okay so um what i did on the um the, i decided to fit a little mounting tray for the board um, because it's got pins on the underside and the battery power lead so I decided to do that and we'll stick that inside the enclosure. got some of these uh, 18650 battery terminal holders because the, the, the batteries you get supplied with these are notoriously not of great capacity. And 18650s are quite pricey but if you buy a torch, one of these cheap flashlights for 9 99 like this one here, you get with it four 18650s. Now, well, obviously these might not be the highest capacity 18650s you can get either, but it's a very cheap way of getting 18650 batteries. Now they say on here that these are 3000 milliamp per hour, I bet they're not, but if they're half that and I've got two in parallel, I stand a chance. All right, we'll stick these two on the charger, see how they get on, I'll uh, check them before we parallel them up. Super important if you're doing this and you're look, thinking of paralleling the cells up, before you do that, you must always make sure that they are at the same voltage. If you don't, you'll have all sorts of problems. Right, I'm doing it slightly different here. What I've done is I've cut away some of the existing battery supports and I'm going to position these proper battery clips in there because I think they're just going to hold the batteries a lot better. So by cutting it out there, we can position one of them 
in there nicely that fits perfectly okay and then we can connect the other one underneath just underneath that switch in that position there well, I suppose I better check the low voltage cutout there's the low voltage cutout board we're going to simulate the battery volts dropping on 2.8 volts at the minute and um, it seems to be that the cutoff is about two there we go put it up to 3.1 volts now I'd ideally like it to cut off at 3.2 but I mean these aren't super expensive batteries we're saving um, but it seems to cut off at 2.5 volts which is a bit low for my liking but I'll just show you it working so we're lowering the voltage we're at 3 2.9 2.8 2.7 2.6 2.5 .2 and there you go it's cut out so just to prove that those boards work there is a, a slight weird thing with this one board and that the the connection is only on the underside not the upper side so if you get these boards and you look at this and you think you can solder to the top of this one the through hole isn't connected on the top on that one so you have to connect to the underside of the the board there with you with your wire but it's a mate it's a minor thing so um perhaps we should check the over voltage protection now and see what that cuts out at all right so now we'll start it at 3 volts, 3 .1, 3 .2, 3 .3, 3 .4, 3 .5, 3 .6, 3 .7, 8, 9, 4, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, 4.
and uh, so we'll get it up there and get it switched on. There we go. I don't think it's going to be getting much of a charge today, but it's going to be sunny tomorrow. So uh, let's uh, switch the unit on and see if it appears on the phone. There it is, G7 LNK Solar. We're on, so we'll see if it's uh, we'll see if Mick can pick that up from where he is and see if my mum's node can see it as well. So we'll just let it propagate for a bit and uh, we'll find out. There we go. And the thing to watch is obviously I'm going to keep an eye on that voltage there. We're at 3.96 volts on the solar node and um, don't, the uh, location hasn't been set correctly on that yet. So I've got to set the location, but that's what we're going to keep. What I'm going to keep an eye on for now is just see how, uh, how uh, quickly that goes down or indeed if it goes up, it's, a bit, it's a bright day today, but it's going to be sunny tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get some action tomorrow. Right, I hope I've inspired you to go and do something similar. I say it's a bit of fun. I'll leave the links to all the parts that I've used, a link to this document. Although, like I say, you can freeze frame it, can't you? Uh, I'll, I'll leave links to all the parts as for as good as that is. Um, I'm in the UK, so I can't guarantee that the parts will be available in your area. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll keep an eye on the node. I'll do an update video. And, uh, you know, you can do this super, super cheap. You don't have to go to the lengths that I've done here. You can do it so much cheaper. Just drop your node into one of these lights and see how you get on. One thing I would say is you probably do want to use an external antenna because some of those carb those those black plastic boxes have carbon in them, which might block the signal. So if you can, get your antenna on the outside and give it a go. Okay, if you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.